So you're thinking about moving to Incline Village, Lake Tahoe, Nevada? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the amenities that Incline Village has to offer to their residents and guests. It's good here in the winter time, but the summertime is spectacular, hands down the best place to live in the entire world. If you wanna know everything there is to know about moving to Incline Village, Lake Tahoe, Nevada, go ahead, subscribe below, and click on the notifications bell, and you'll be the first one notified when I put up a new video about the current market situation in Incline Village and glorious Lake Tahoe, Nevada. Hi everybody, it's Tahoe Tony. I'm the managing broker for eXp Realty. My full name is Tony Tuoto, but to keep things simple, I go by Tahoe Tony. My Nevada broker salesman's license number is 144620. And every day, my team and I get text messages, phone calls, and emails from people just like you who are looking to move to Incline Village, Lake Tahoe, Nevada, and we love it. So if you're thinking about moving in six days, six weeks, or six months, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, and I'll make sure your move to Incline Village, Nevada is the best real estate experience you've ever had. So now I'm standing on one of the most popular beaches in towns, Incline Village Beach, Incline Beach. As a homeowner, a property owner in Incline Village, you get a free pass to this beach. So the beaches are closed to residents and their guests only. So as you can imagine, this is a big beach, but in the holidays it gets a little bit crowded. But on the other days, it's not so crowded, so it's really nice. In the wintertime, it's open to everybody. Starting in May to the end of October, you have to have a little card. It's called IVGID card, your Incline Village General Improvement District. is our town, and you get a little card when you buy property here and that allows you to get access to the beaches, discounts to the ski resort, the golf courses, everything, it's great. So this is an awesome beach. You're allowed to bring your own food and drink down here if you like. They don't allow glass, so no glassware, so you bring plastic cups or whatever. I'm walking over to the snack bar and the bar. <laughs> So we actually have cocktail service sometimes and the bar is open. Sometimes there'll be bands playing here in the evening time. And so it's a great place to hang out and meet people. Let me turn around here and give you a shot of the snack bar. Now this snack bar, we scheduled to update that. It's kind of old looking. As you can see, it's not, not uh, really on par with some of the other amenities we have, but we got plans to fix that. And then there's a bar that's all wrapped up in plastic. Also, you can see behind me, there's a nice grassy area out here. So you don't want to be in the sand there are horseshoe pits there's this little play area over here uh, right behind me so kids can go on the slide and such and it's just an awesome beach not too many places around Tahoe have private beaches for their guests some places that'll have like the HOA will own a beach and so part of the HOA you do pay for that but our town we own the beaches so as a property owner it's actually deeded on your deed to access to these beaches. So we're excited about that. As you can see, there are picnic tables around. And then of course the views are spectacular. I don't know if you could see the buoys very well out there, but there's a buoy and a rope system up so you can swim here in the summertime and not have to worry too much about boats or jet skis or anything like that. I'm not gonna say they don't come in, but they're not supposed to come in, so that helps prevent them. The water is a little bit on the cool side, I will tell you that. <laughs> Let's see, in the summertime, starting out in June, you know, it's still pretty cold, because this is all snow melt. You see the snow-capped mountains, all that snow melts, and that's what fills our lake up. One of the important things to think about, as this came to mind, as I'm walking down to the shore in Nevada, on the Nevada side of the lake, because that's California over there, and this is Nevada. On the Nevada side, as a property owner, if you own lakefront, you own down to the low water line, which is 6,223 feet. And so if you are buying a lakefront property, make sure your title company will insure the property down to that water line. I had a lakefront property in escrow, and I, I got the preliminary title board, and it was to the high water line, which in Nevada, you own to the low water line, so you want to make sure you get title insurance down to the low water line. So I had them fix that. It wasn't a big deal. Well, I guess it was. We had to go to a different title company, but uh, we got it done. I say it wasn't too complicated. So what I'm about to do now is this little creek here. This little creek separates Incline Beach and Ski Beach. So Tahoe Tony's going to try and jump this creek without falling in the water or dropping my phone. Ta-da! And so now I'm on a beach. This is called Ski Beach. Ski beach means we've got a boat launch right there, so you can launch your boat in town, and then if you want to pick up people on the beach, say you've got people, hey, we want to go boating, you launch your boat, you pull over here, you pick the people up, 
and then you can go boating. And boating in Lake Tahoe is fantastic. There's half a dozen restaurants that uh, have a specialty drink and you can pull your boat up and they even have like service where they'll park the boat for you or they'll put it on a buoy and then you go to the restaurant. It's just, it's so great in the summertime to go boating. As you see, no boats are out here in the wintertime. It's just too cold. Although it's wintertime and I'm wearing jeans and a pullover, which is quite comfortable. So generally not too cold in Tahoe. We get 300 days on average of sunshine a year, which is pretty awesome. If you like sunshine, if you don't like sunshine, or maybe look at Portland or Seattle or some other place, but Tahoe is not for you. <laughs> and then as you can see, there are a few little dogs on this beach right now. So in the winter time, we open up Ski Beach, where you launch the boats, to the dogs. So if you need to exercise your dog, you can bring them down to the beach and they run around, chase pine cones or tennis balls or whatever it is, and they even go out in the lake. But because a lot of times there'll be snow on the ground, it's hard to for your dog to run around in the snow if it's gotten icy, whatever. So we open up Ski Beach to the dogs in the wintertime. No dogs allowed in the summertime, no. So if you wanna to go to the beach and you're worried about dogs, there won't be any dogs there in the summertime. But if you want to come to Ski Beach, in the winter time there'll be dogs here but you notice over on incline beach the dogs are not allowed even in the winter time so if you don't like dogs you do like dogs it's all great here and you've got a place for you so this is ski beach that was incline beach oh i forgot to mention we have volleyball court up there and then back behind me you can see there are some paddle boards and kayaks and stuff stacked on racks so those racks, uh, they're not easy to come by to get a spot, but they are available sometimes. So you put your name on a list and if someone doesn't want to store their kayak there anymore, they'll call you and you can store it. I don't know what the cost is. I know it changes. Also, there are boat rental services here. Our town partners with people. And then just on the other side of Ski Beach right over there is the Hyatt's restaurant. It is the Lone Eagle right now, but I've heard rumors that it's going to be remodeled and quite possibly be a Nobu restaurant. That's just a rumor. It was reported in the paper that Larry Ellison purchased that property, so he owns the property. It's still managed by the Hyatt, but Larry Ellison owns it. But the Nobu part, that's just a rumor, so I can't verify that. Just for the record, that may or may not happen. I don't know. So this is Ski Beach. Next, I'm going to go down to the other side of town to Burnt Cedar Beach. So now I've come down to Burnt Cedar Beach and Burnt Cedar Beach is where uh, a lot of families and kids come because it has a swimming pool in it. And you notice these buildings here are quite a bit nicer than at Incline Beach because we had these redone a few years ago and actually won awards for the nicest facilities uh, near the lake. So very proud of that. As you see, we have a, a bar here as well. So sometimes it's nice to get a drink down on the beach. Here's our swimming pool. It's all covered up now because it's winter time. I don't want to be filming in the summertime when people are laying out or swimming. I don't think anybody would like that. So here's our, our swimming pool. As you can see, you could hang out by the pool and the lake is your backdrop. It's really nice. Um, just makes for a great day to hang out on the beach, by the pool, by the lake. It's great. This is one of our largest beaches. We have the aquatic office there for the staff. <laughs> But I want to show you something over here. As we come out, there's this really large grassy area. Now this beach, uh, a lot more rocks on this beach over here. And then there's a little point, and then it's a nice sandy area. And again, they have a volleyball court set up so you can play beach volleyball. And the area I'm walking over to now, personally, I like the, I like the grass. Uh, the grass is really nice. Uh, so it's kind of nice to have the option to be down on the sand or in the grass. Uh, it's a great option. But this area I'm walking to over here, well, if you own property in Klein Village, you could rent out this space and have a party here. We've had family gatherings, uh, birthday parties here, anniversary parties for friends have been here. And they've got a giant, giant barbecue. It's all covered up now. And then tables all around. And as you can see, it's a beautiful area great views of the mountains the beaches are beautiful the water is so calm today but just imagine hanging out here at a party with all your friends or family it makes for a great setting for a great party so this is the barbecue pit here the grassy area the pool over there the mountains in the background bathrooms right there again another play area for the kids over here 
It's a great beach. So this is Burnt Cedar Beach. So we have three beaches in Incline Village. With Incline Beach, that was the first one I was on. Ski Beach, where we have the boat launch, where you can launch your boat, you can launch your stand-up paddleboard, your kayaks, your jet skis, anything of that nature. And then we also have Burnt Cedar Beach, which has a swimming pool. So many different options for you if you are a property owner in Incline Village, or you are lucky enough to know somebody owns property here that you can be their guest to come down to the beaches and enjoy the services. And again, remember I said, we get about 300 days of sunshine a year. Summertime, it's not too hot. I think I saw the average high was like 78 degrees or 82 degrees in the summertime, depending on what month. And then the nights cool off, get down into the 50s, low 50s, high 40s. So great sleeping weather and the water's a little chilly, but it's quite refreshing when it's warm. And then if you're on the shore by the beaches, it's gonna be warmer because that sand will be reflecting some of the light. So these are beaches. So now I'm standing outside of Diamond Peak Ski Resort. This is our town's own little ski resort. Our town is called Incline Village General Improvement District, and we own a ski resort along with the beaches and the, the tennis complex and the rec center. So this is our little ski resort. It's awesome. It's got five high speed lifts, some great runs, everything from a really nice bunny slope to some black diamond runs. And it may seem small, but it's very mighty. <laughs> Actually, my first sale in Incline Village 26 years ago, I sold him a house and we became really good friends. And he used to go over to Squaw Valley when there was a, like a foot of snow or two feet of snow. And everybody wanted to get first tracks. That was the big thing to get first tracks, which is fun. I don't know if you ever skied in first tracks, but it's great. Room runs are fun, but first tracks, that's like the ultimate. So he would get up at seven in the morning so he can get over there and get in line before the resort opened so that he could be in line to get first tracks. And there'd be so many people go over there that he would end up only getting one, maybe two first track runs because there were so many people waiting in line because that ski resort was where they had the Olympics in 1960, so it was very famous and everybody wanted to ski there. Then, because of work conditions, he had to come here and he ended up getting first tracks for two hours and his legs were so tired, he ended up going back to work. So that became his routine. So he would get up, work a little bit, come here, ski for an hour, and then go back to work in town. He worked from his house and it worked out really well for him because it's a small resort, easy to get to. Obviously it's like five minutes from everything in town and he would end up getting fresh tracks in the snow and then he ended up coming here quite a bit just because there weren't any lines. You can get up and ski and you could just get out there and his legs would be so tired after two hours. He could couldn't handle anymore so it's a great little resort they have a really great services so if you have kids and you want the kids to take lessons or be with an instructor all day so you can go out and do your own thing they have those services available they have regular lessons like I said they have a bunny slope so if you're a beginning skier the bunny slope is right down there it's almost flat just a slight slope to it and then if you look up on the mountains you can't see it from here but there are some pretty big, big steep spots that uh, you can get pretty gnarly black diamond type skiing in. Those are rated as black diamond. The views from up there, I can't go up there now because they're making snow and everything, so I'm not allowed to get up there. But the views, I've got pictures of the views that you get of Lake Tahoe from Diamond Peak are some of the best around. It's awesome. They've got good food. You can get rental equipment here. Everything you need. It's a first class resort, good skiing. It's close in town, it's discount rates. We've got new buildings. I mean, look at the, the building behind me now. It's got that modern look with the glass. It's all first class, just like our town. So if you're into skiing, this is great. If you're into cross country skiing, up on top of Mount Rose Meadows, I'll give you a little clip of that. So my wife and I love to go cross country skiing. And then you can go hiking and snowshoeing up there as well. Like I said, one of the things we like to do is go up there on a full moon up to Sheep's Flat on Mount Rose and go skiing or snowshoeing at night under the full moon. It's so amazing. You could read a book. It is so bright out there with all the snow. So this is our ski resort. If you live in town and you want to do some ski racing and your kids want to do some ski racing, you can do that here. I have some clients whose kids are three and four years old, I think, and they're just little tykes. They could barely walk and they're out on skis doing racing. It was so much fun to watch them do that. And they co go competitive all the way up to high school. I know some people gotten scholarships for skiing. So if you want to come to our town and start out with a little skier, this is the place to be. So now I'm standing outside of the recreation center. Again, this is owned by IVGID, our town. So if you have a little IVGID card, you own property here, you can come down here. This is where you get your IVGID pass, which allows you to get to the beaches for free. 
gets you discounts to the ski resort, gets you discounts to the recreation center. This is where you come to get your pass. So after you buy property coming to town, this is where you want to go to get your pass. It opens up all those amenities for you. So the recreation center don't want me to film inside. For privacy reasons, I respect that. I'm not the type of person to stir the bucket or whatever phrase you want to come up with there, but I do negotiate like a banshee. So if you want me to negotiate for you, I will do that, but I'm not gonna stir the pot when it comes to that. But here's some great pictures of the Incline Village Recreation Center. It has a really nice swimming pool. This is like where the swim team practices. They have some competitions here. I've seen at times where they have like this giant octopus in there that blows up, the kids get to play on, it's a lot of fun. Downstairs, they also have like a, I wanna say basketball courts, but they use it for volleyball, indoor soccer, and quite a few other activities in the winter time. And then there is a weight area. So they don't have any free weights, they have a machine because they don't want to compete with the other gyms in town. So they just have machine, but still you get a really good workout in there. And I don't know if you've ever been swimming in the winter time, but they've got lights on the outside of the building. So when you're in there swimming, you can see the snow coming down. It's really cool because you're in this nice heated pool in the winter time, you can see snow falling, but you're comfortable. Sometimes when I'd work a lot, I don't have a chance to get outside in the winter time. So I'd come here and swim and it's great. Upstairs, there are studios and in the studios, they teach quite a few different things. We call this a recreation center, but it's also a community center because there's so many classes and organizations that meet here. I was just looking in the pamphlet. If you come into town, I'll give you our Incline Village Quarterly that shows all the different classes and programs. My wife got certified for scuba diving here. <laughs> when she did all the work here, she had to go in the lake, the poor thing. As we were going to Hawaii and I was in Hawaii and I was swimming with the manta rays and she was only allowed to snorkel because she wasn't certified. So for her birthday, which is in February, I bought her certification classes and she got certified in the pool. Then she had to go out to the lake in March and dive twice, the poor thing. I didn't know that, I wouldn't have gotten her to her then, but we ended up going to Hawaii after that and she had a great time swimming with the manta rays. I don't know, for some reason they loved her, they overhead the whole time, it was great. Anyway, <laughs> other great classes here, they've taken art classes, they've got aqua aerobics, uh, the hiking club meets here that you can take stand-up paddleboard lessons. I'll put a list up because this is too many for me to mention. So this is the recreation center, another great part of our town. Again, this is where you come to get your IVGID pass, which allows you to get into the beaches. You show that at the golf course to get your discounts. And speaking of golf courses, that's where I'm gonna go next. Now I'm standing on the golf course at Incline Village. We actually have two golf courses, again, that are owned by the town. The Incline Village General Improvement District, IVGID, owns two golf courses. As a property owner, it's about $90 to play the championship course, and it's $190 if you're a non-resident. So what we've done is the town is trying to figure out how much it costs to have someone play, with the maintenance and everything, to keeping everything up, and that's what they charge the residents. And then they charge the non-residents enough so that they can make a little profit to help support some of the other things that aren't as profitable in our town. So this is the golf course. We've got an award-winning chateau behind us. And again, you could rent that property out, banquet area upstairs for weddings or family reunions or whatever you wanna do. But getting back to the golf course, I played this golf course many times, mostly before I started real estate and I love it. It's great if you're playing the course, there is a really nice driving range to warm up on. Remember, we're at a higher elevation, so your bar ball is gonna go a lot farther. And unfortunately, the balls in the driving range are at 80% compression, so they don't go as far as your normal balls that you hit. So it's not, not a good way to judge your range out there. But anyways, hopefully by the first few holes, you can figure it out. A few tips I'll give you if you can't see where the green is breaking most likely it's breaking towards the lake so if you're on a green and you can't see where it is play for the break to be towards the lake because it almost always breaks towards the lake they keep the golf course in really good shape it's closed now it generally doesn't open till mid to late may early may sometimes depending on the winter in the winter time they ask that you don't walk on the grass at all but if you want to walk you're allowed to walk on the paths so it's nice, you can get out and get some exercise if you don't want to go out on the hiking trails, but here's a sign explaining what you can and can't do as a walker. Inside the chateau here is the golf pro shop. They've got a lot of the IVGID golf championship golf course where you can put on some nice stuff. My wife's giving me some of that stuff for Christmas or my birthday. And so this is a golf course, great facility, very well maintained, and you get a huge discount, $100 off if you are a resident of Incline Village. So one of the great events in Incline Village in the summertime is the Nine and Wine at the Mountain Golf Course. 
I love this event. So you get to play nine holes in the mountain golf course, which is like a executive course. It's mostly par threes, but very difficult. We've got creeks and, and greens and just canyons running through. And then once you've finished, and it's best ball, so you don't even have to be a good golfer. My wife never played golf before, and she came out and did the nine and wine. One of her girlfriends said, hey, oh, you should do the nine and wine. And so that's how she got started in golf. So it's a lot of fun. So after you finish your nine holes of golf, which is best ball, so you don't have to be good, which is great, you get to come out and sit on the deck, and we have a four or five course light dinner with wine pairings. A lot of the wines coming from Napa Valley in California, and a lot of times the winemakers are here to talk about their wine and it's such a wonderful event. It is one of my favorite. I, I love wine and I love golf and friends. And so this is a great event. Hopefully you can see everybody back there right on the golf course. It's pretty spectacular. Tahoe Tony checking in on the nine and wine golf do. So this is the tennis courts. We have one, two, three, four courts for you to play on. You just go over to the pro shop in the recreation center, reserve your court, and you get to play tennis as well. Another great way to stay in shape in Incline Village. And this is included in your amenities as well. So another great reason Incline Village is the best place to live in the entire world. We have our own bike park in the middle of town. It's free to use, it's pretty cool. You see all the, uh, the bumps and jumps, and there's a big bank wall over there, and the cups over here with banks and drop-offs and everything. So there are some competitive mountain bikers in this town, quite a few of them. The mountain biking trails are insane. World-class, I would say. Not that I've been all around the world mountain biking, but I hear from people that have them. They say this is a really great place to do that. So just want to give you a quick glance of our bike park. And then right across the way, going around the bike park is our Frisbee golf. Our yeah, disc golf, I guess it's called. We have a nice disc golf course that goes all the way around and that's quite popular as well. Other great things to do at Incline Village. So this is a little bit better shot of the Chateau. I was down below, which goes out to the golf course, but this gives you an idea of what it's like if you wanted to have a party here or a wedding or just get together with friends. They also have a very nice restaurant on the other side of the building that's open when the golf course is open and the food is really good and fresh. I enjoy that and you're sitting out on that deck overlooking the golf course. It's one of my favorite places to go and have lunch in the summertime. So these are the amenities of Incline Village, Nevada. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you some value. If you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and subscribe below. Click on the notifications bell and you'll be the first to be notified of the current market conditions in Incline Village, Nevada. So if you're thinking of moving here in six days, six weeks, or six months, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email, and I'll make sure that your move to Incline Village, Nevada is the best real estate experience you've ever had.